Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are here with the Serpent's Hand. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. <sighs> I think we'll just start with this. SCP Foundation Introductory File on Group of Interest Alpha-19, Serpent's Hand. The Serpent's Hand is a small but formidable organization which seems to be growing at a rapid rate and is responsible for a number of security breaches. The group embraces the use and existence of paranormal items and particularly embraces humanoid and sapient SCP objects. The Serpent's Hand has been highly vocal and criticize the containment and destruction of these SCPs, especially those which are not particularly destructive. At least 177 individuals belonging to the Serpent's Hand have been identified, of which several dozens have taken part in raids on Foundation's facilities, many of whom use anomalous items for infiltration purposes. The total number of members belonging to the organization is unknown, as is their levels of technology, number of possible SCPs held, or total level of threat. It is clear they are highly coordinated and often dangerous. Their numbers appear to be increasing faster as more anomalies appear in this world. The Serpent's Hand came to Foundation attention after encounters with the individual known as L.S., who seems to be a leader within the Serpent's Hand and is personally responsible for two security breaches in Foundation sites. L.S.'s first breach resulted in the theft of SCP-268, an artifact that the Foundation had recovered during a raid of a Chaos Insurgency fa facility. The Foundation first learned of the Serpent's Hand after L.S.'s second and breach Foundation security, see Security Breach Incident X-23, Site-19. The identity of L.S. has yet to be conclusively verified, though evidence points to the per person of interest known as the Black Queen, see Linked Files. For a long time, the Foundation had very little information written about the Serpent's Hand. Existing information ha was received mostly through leaks from um, Global Co Coalition Intelligence and was limited to or incomplete in nature. GLC Intelligence did not seem to reflect the current status of the group, despite clear inside information. A breakthrough was made with the Foundation's discovery of the Waters Library, an anomalous extra-dimensional a location access through portals referred to as ways found in many different parts of the world. The Serpent's Hand seems primarily based from this location, though they have no direct control over it. Direct assaults on the library have been so far proven unfeasible, even when entrance can uh, be found, Foundation agents presently do not seem to be able to access the library without making use of anomalous methods, and even then with near zero success rate. But Asian agents are attacked on site by anomalous entities upon successful entrance. This also seems to be the case for GLC agents, though, though some are merely escorted out while others are killed immediately. The GLC seems to have some access to the library through intermediaries, however, but Asian efforts to infiltrate the Wanderer's Library are ongoing. Full Task Force Tau-9, Bookworms, has been assigned to specialize in investigation, tracking, acquisition, and containment of individuals and artifacts related to the Service Hand and the Wanderer's Library. Due to the general necessity of non-anomalous containment methods and other difficulties, progress has been has so far been slow. Though many uh, identified hand individuals are presently under surveillance, the Service Hand seems to be extremely active in this general paranormal community. They have high level of interest in the global cult relation, who they call the Book Burners, and the SCP Foundation itself, referred to as the Jellers or Jellers. Regarding both with animosity, the Hand's relationship with the GLC is particularly hostile. Most recorded cases of unprovoked silent and silent service hand members have been against GLC agents. These servants hands seem they must strain from the GLC is 108 member organizations despite similarities in focus on the ontological and other occult practices and a number of shared methods. This situation seems to be due to the GLC, the policy of destroying most anomalous entities which are non-human in origin or which they cannot efficiently control. Additionally, the GLC treats hand members as enemies 
as enemy agents to be engaged or killed on sight. The Foundation seemed to be the focus of less anger from the Serpent's hand due to the Foundation policy of containing and not destroying most anomalous entities. However, hand and animosity towards the Foundation is still high. The Hand has unfriendly relations with the Chaos Society, who they call the Madmen, and middling relationships with the the office for the reclamation of Islamic artifacts, sometimes hostile, sometimes cooperative. See files on Al-Sana and the Horizon Initiative. The Hand seems to have neutral to friendly relations with the man, a charitable foundation, and is tolerant of non-violent fit as church and church of broken god members. A few members of the Hand seem to who also seem to be also members of Are We Cool Yet, though they seem to be among the more pacifist members of that uh, collective. A number of uh, non-Are We Cool Yet anomalous artists and artists has been identified in the Hand's ranks as well. The Hand seems to have occasional interactions with agents of Marshall Carter and Dark, whom they call the merchants within the uh, Wanderer's Library, though these seem neutral rather than friendly. Outside the land, uh, Ivory Hand members have clashed with MC and D agents on several known occasions. Hand rates on foundation facilities have been steadily increasing in number, as has their ability to evade capture and to successfully liberate SCP items. Formerly, the GLC seemed to be able to keep Hand numbers in check, but this no longer seems to be the case. Efforts to neutralize the servant's hand in a more permanent fashion are ongoing. Right, there's a another thing right here. <sighs> Welcome to anyone willing or able to read this. This is for you. We are the serpent's hand. We are a movement unified by a common belief that humanity and all the other people of the known worlds do not deserve to be kept in darkness and ignorance. The serpent's hand doesn't incarnate as a group. We are a loose collection of splinters. Our enemies tend to misunderstand this. For instance, the Foundation's obsession with LS, a person most of us have never met, or the serpent's nest and with their shifting identities. Yes, they are all leaders because they are people we respect, who we take advice from, and some of us will follow their plans. But they aren't all of us. There's no special way to join the hand. There's no secret rituals done in basements or closets. We hold no elections for our leaders. If you want to become a member of the Serpent's Hand, all you have to do is decide you are a member of the Serpent's Hand. Most of us are ordinary people. Though our enemies do not understand this. We are ordinary people who embrace the anomalous, the supernatural, the ethereal. We oppose its suppression. How can we not? Our friends, family members, and sometimes we ourselves fall outside the bounds of normalcy. Every single one of us has experienced the anomalous. We are the things in heaven and earth that were not dreamt of in your philosophy. To so the heralds of traditional powers such as the SCP Foundation, the Global Occult Coalition, and most world governments, the anomalous is slowly spreading poison, trying to destroy everything civilization has worked so hard to create. But anomalous people are people, and the anomalous itself is not a threat merely for existing. Yes, it presents danger, but so do germs and meteors and forest fires. Suppressing knowledge of something will only make it more dangerous and keep all of us huddling, frightened, in the dark. When normalcy starts hurting the people who have to live under it, to try to cure a poison, normalcy itself is the poison. The SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition are playing the role now that the Catholic Church played when they imprisoned Galileo for discovering that the world revolved around the sun. Their practices and beliefs are the death of, of knowledge, the death of science, the death of light. Take the Wanderer's Library as an example, the place where the servant's hand makes its home. The library is the largest repository of knowledge the worlds have ever seen, the holy grail for those seeking to understand the if threats are natural, and yet both the SCP Foundation and the Global Cult Coalition have been thrown out of this place is that what comes all. Why? Because they tried to destroy it, or take it for themselves, so no one could have it. Because of this, 
they are condemned to blunder in the dark. Everyone of reasonable agrees that people should defend themselves against supernatural threats. But how can you protect yourself if you burn and bury the books in a prison or execute the people who, who could tell you how? Why don't you try to protect yourself against nuclear weapons by telling everyone to pretend they don't exist? But Serpent's hand were barred out from the library E2 once. There was a reason we could not out of rediscover it until 1967. But no more. We've learned from our mistakes. To any members of the DLC and the Foundation who may read this, we are growing so large because of you. We were more like you once. Just one more inbred secret society hoarding occult knowledge to ourselves. Then the Foundation began increasing its scale. There have always been jailers, but not like this, not a millennia. Yet still, they kept themselves in the dark, with only their leaders ever knowing the full extent of the world on Earth outside the everyday. So they were tolerable for a time. But then came the Seventh Occult War, the Foundation Civil War, the rise of the Global Occult Coalition, the Book Burners, the Big Brother, and the grand scale campaign against the paranatural community that, that followed. The Coalition became the oppressive shelter to which the cowards of a paranatural community fled. A shame that there were only 108 its slots and only for human dominated organizations. Or perhaps not Shane at all. Our old selves did not seek membership then, and we are fortunate for that. So the servant's hand rose up, not out of desire nor fear, but out of clear and pressing need. To keep all peoples from being chained up forever in the dark. We, the servant's hand, and ask both of you this. How many KTEs has the Global Co Coalition in catalog? It must seem like the, a, a supernatural is a vast hydra. Two new heads sprouting for each that is cut off. How long will you keep cutting? How many SCP items does the Foundation contain now? 2,000? 3,000? 5? More? It's actually up to... Uh, I think 8,000 now. How long before there is no more room for prisons to be constructed? Well, you put the whole world in a containment cell? I think that might be a plan, actually. You admit it to yourselves privately. The anomalous is on the rise. You cannot hold back the future forever. You are the monsters you are so afraid of. Let go of your fear and join us in the light. And if you will not, if you keep imprisoning and killing innocents, if you keep forcing the world to stay in the dark, then you will meet the fate of all the slavers and murderers in the world's history before you. We will free those as you keep imprisoned. We will rescue those you try to kill. The garden and is the serpent's place. We are the serpent's hand. This is coming from M. Hmm. This isn't quite having the sort of information that at the other hubs had. It's more just a huge um, collection of links to other articles so far. So, uh, I guess the best way to explain this is um, the Serpent's Hand is a group of uh, of folks from what is known as the Wanderers Library. They worship a serpent, which is said to be the you know, primordial god of all that is. The other serpent, all that is not, also known as, I think, SCP-3000, is the complete antithesis of the a, a servant of the Wondrous Library. Unfortunately, there isn't much more information 
that is officially here to go over. So I suppose that for now, that is it for the serpent's hand. And tomorrow, we will be talking about SCP-3000. The serpent that, that is, is all that is not, apparently. And also has a very interesting anomalous amnestic effect. We'll get over it. It's really, really interesting. So I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I make SCP videos like this every day. Some are longer than others, some are shorter than others. Whatever might happen, happens. I'll see you next time.